No, it's this is not going to work. This is not going to work well for me. I see this ending very badly. Okay. What's up, guys? Today we're playing Pitfall Chess. Thank you, Rob, for the suggestion. I think this is going to be fun. I've never played this before. Just to recap the rules, if I move this pawn to e4, the e4 square, uh, once the pawn leaves, becomes cracked. If I then move another piece there, let's just say the bishop comes out and goes there, then after the bishop leaves, the square is completely gone and I can no longer move there. Okay, so I'm going to be keeping track of that over here on the sideboard, which you guys can see. So every time a piece moves, I will make it yellow. And as the game goes on, it might look something like this. And then once a piece moves on a square twice, it will become red. Okay, so this is going to be how we keep track, both for you guys and for my own sake, so I don't forget that I'm not allowed to move on the red squares. Okay, so if you see red squares, I can't use those anymore. All right, let's get started. Good luck, Martin. I'm going to play e4 and put a yellow square there. Okay, well, I'm going to have to see if we can make this quick. Let's go bishop c4 and I'll put a yellow square. Oh, actually, does this does this get one too? Yeah, probably not. We'll say no. We'll say that they don't get a square. Although these squares probably aren't going to matter that much anyway. Okay, let's go queen h5. Let's see if Martin knows what to do uh, about the four move checkmate. Wow, he he stops it with a good move. This is Black's best move, I would say, in this position. All right, I'm going to try again because I really want to put him to the test here. Wow, Martin is on a roll. Look at this guy. He's been watching the, the Chess Vibes channel or something. Okay, well, he's not falling for it. So let's see if we can play D3. Uh, he might play Knight to D4. Is he going to play Knight? He's not going to play Knight to D4. I don't believe that. I'm going to play D3. I'll put a yellow here. And What is this guy doing? Did I accidentally choose Stockfish? Level 3200 rated? What? I was going to play c3 to stop this, but I'm like, no, it's Martin. He's not going to play. This is why you don't play hope chess, even against Martin. This is bad news for me because I really wanted to take the knight and then checkmate him. But now I got to move my queen. And really, I have to go all the way back here because of the knight attack. Mm. Okay, Martin. Okay, Martin, my friend. And b5. Look at this guy. He is relentless. I guess I'm going to go back and this becomes a yellow square. Okay. So, oh, I've already used the F3 square. I was going to play Knight F3, but if I do that, then that square is gone. I probably shouldn't do that. Let me play C3. I'm trying to keep my board, you know, usable. It goes back. Okay. Do I, I really want my Knight on F3, but I don't want to use that square. Let's go E2, I guess. Or h3 is a safe one. Maybe h3 to g5 might make sense. No, I want it to be in the center. Let's go e2. It's a lot of yellow squares. Martin's actually doing pretty well. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and castle. And I guess that's going to go g and f become yellow. Okay. Um, Did you guys see the eval bar jump? <laughs> it's because of the knight, I guess. It's a big jump for a knight. Um, Yeah, I guess we'll take that. I guess we'll take it. Okay. Okay, we could play d4. That's a safe square to use. Seems pretty good. Takes, takes. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Let's play d4. That gets a yellow square. He goes all the way back. I think I'll trade it. That gets the f8 square. Okay. Um... Let's just develop. We haven't used this square, so we'll go knight to d2. Okay. I gotta choose my moves carefully here. Maybe a4. Just kind of using some of these squares that are available to me. Alright, I think I can safely take that. It's b5. Okay, we could probably safely take this. That's a7. Okay, d5. Yeah, that's an available square. We'll play d5. Okay, I guess we just take this. C6 gets a yellow. All right. Probably should save the rook. Where's a good place to move the rook to? A3 doesn't use up an, a new square. Let's go A3. 
Okay. We're going to have to go for checkmate at some point. But I have to do it carefully because I can only use so many squares. Um, maybe F4. Yeah, let's play F4 to try to get the rook involved. Board is just turning yellow. Okay, if we take that, it should be a safe move. Okay. So, how do we go for checkmate? The knight's kind of defending. The rook's kind of defending. Uh, this is actually tricky, because if I go to c4, I'm done with c4. But I really want to move my knight there. f3, then I'm done with f3. Which one? I guess we'll go c4. So c4 is now a red square. So I can no longer... Oh, I actually missed that. I actually missed that. I can no longer move to c4. Okay. But I can go to g3. That's pretty safe. Oh, Martin. Martin hangs the queen. The e4 square is going to be unavailable, but it's worth it. So e4. Okay. So we can't use these two squares anymore. All right. Where can I put the queen that's a safe square? Where I could just take this, actually. Yeah, let's just take that. We'll take that. e5 becomes unavailable. And there's checkmate. There it is. Yep. Okay. So that wasn't too bad. We we and we didn't even really get to Martin's territory yet. But that's a fun concept and I think if we play again against a stronger bot, this could prove difficult. So let's go find another bot and we'll try this one more time cuz that was pretty fun. Okay, let's see. Who should we How about should I try Nelson, the 1300 rated Nelson? Yeah, that might be interesting, right? Nelson in pitfall chess. Nelson versus Nelson in pitfall chess. Let's do it. Let's go play. I'm going to reset the board over here. Good luck, Nelson. I'm going with e4. And okay, let's just get the center. e4, d4. Wow. How did I know he was going to do that? How did I know? So what am I going to do? Defend with a knight. <laughs> Place f5. Okay, I think we need to take that. We could also play bishop d3. Seems like a solid move. Or we could even just attack the queen with knight to f3. All of those moves seem pretty good. I think I want to take advantage of the, the queen right away. So let's play knight f3. Oops, wrong square. Sorry, let me do that again. Okay, queen to g4. Probably h3. Maybe now we can just take. Or even... Yeah, let's just take. We'll take that. So this one becomes yellow. He's just giving away everything, huh? Okay. We could take, we could attack the queen. We could develop some other pieces like this bishop maybe here or here. I mean, it's a, it's a pawn. I may as well just take it, right? Okay. So now what are we going to do? We could gambit this pawn, but... Yeah, I don't know if it's really necessary. I think maybe just a simple developing move makes sense. Like bishop e3. We haven't used that square, so it's probably a good one. Okay, now I'm more tempted to do it because he just spent a move going back. It's an awful lot of wasted queen moves. If that happens, I think I will. I think I will go for that. So I'll play bishop d3. I'll play rook g1. And now it's a question of, do I want to go for rook g3 or knight g5? Or do I want to just play queen e2 and castle? So knight g5 leaves the h2 pawn hanging. It doesn't look very good. Rook to g3 forces the queen to go to h5. Looks pretty good. Although I could save that move maybe for a later time. Yeah, let's go queen e2. I think queen e2 makes a lot of sense. Okay, we haven't used the d5 square yet, so I could safely take that. I th think I will. It's going to unleash the discovered jack, which is probably pretty good. Let's take it. d5 square. All right. What do we want to do with our bishop? f4, g5, h6 are all options. I could also just do something else. Castling. No need to rush. Although I... Hmm. Yeah, maybe I will just castle, actually. Castling just seems pretty good. 
You can play rook g3, knight g5 first. So many good options. Let's say I did go check. He blocks. Could take that. I don't know. I guess we'll just castle. There's so many good options. I think we just castle. Look, bishop g4 here. Take six. No, that should be fine. Let's castle and we'll go um, c and d. Goes back there. Okay. Hmm. I guess. I guess. What? Knight g5 maybe? Bring the knight forward. It's a safe square. Yeah, we'll knight g5. Okay, here we go again with the discovered attack. Do I want to play bishop f4 now? Seems pretty good. Or I could line up with another rook first. Yeah, let's actually do that. Let's play rook e1. e1 square. Okay, he steps to the side. We have this possibility for a pin, but we have to move the knight somewhere. I could... Might actually be able to get away with 96 check. Bishop takes, I pin the queen. Queen takes, I go there check, and I'm winning the queen anyway. Maybe not, actually. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. So, what's the best move? What is the best move? Huh. Let me look at what squares I have, too. I'm thinking about... Queen. Oh, I could even take this. It's actually not a bad move. Maybe I'll just do that. I just noticed that. Let's actually just take that. Yeah. Knight to h, h7. Okay. Ooh, all right. Bishop g5 looks amazing. That's the last time I can go to that square, but I think we're making good progress. I'm going to do it. So g5 is unavailable. It goes up. Okay. So we've got queen g4. We've got trading i don't really i could trade and then go queen e7 also looks really good this is probably just the best just going here and taking the bishop i imagine so let's go queen g4 check that one is yellow okay so we can take this looks pretty solid to me c8 is unavailable Okay, what do we want to do? Yeah, we've got all kinds of options here. Bring the bishop down. Bring the rook up. I mean, there's so many good moves. Just go ahead and trade that now. Bring the rook down here. I mean, you name it. All of these are good moves. Yeah, let's go here. Let's go rook here. Why not? Okay, so he's giving me the rook. I guess I'll take it. Okay... How do we win? What if I go here trying to target this pawn? How's he going to defend that? Not easily. Or I could just take all the pieces. Maybe I'll just take all the pieces. Now well, let's just take it. Take that one. Okay. Um, let's make sure he doesn't have any tricks. Yeah, let's go. That's a safe square. That's a safe. He's going to play C6. Do I have a better move? Do I have a bet? I could go here. I won't be able to use that square again. That's fine. Let's go bishop e3. So that square is gone. What is he doing? What is he doing? Let's take this one with check. That square is gone. Um, let's... I mean, I'm just... I don't just want to take everything. Maybe there's a better move. Queen to d8 is a safe square. Okay. Maybe check. e6. Alright, so I can't use that square anymore, but... I think it's fine. c7 is an available square, so I'll take that. And... Mate in 2. Let's see, what is it? Here and here. Or here. Yeah, let's do this one. That's safe square. And probably A3 would be a nice, a nice one. Oh, good game, Nelson. That's why you don't bring out the queen too early. So again, didn't have too, too much trouble there. I mean, yes, we had a couple of squares that were not available, but I think 
that that was uh, not too bad. All right, one more option that I'm gonna try, back to Martin. Okay, back to Martin. But this time we're gonna say that only after one time the floor disappears. So there's no crack and then it breaks, it just breaks immediately. Only one time can I step on each square. I think that's gonna make it more interesting. So let's go back to, should I do Martin or should I do Nelson actually? Ooh, that would be tough. That'd be tough. We might be able to do Nelson. We might. Let's try Nelson. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. So I'm going to say new game. Nelson, here we go. And same rules, except this time when I land on a square, it immediately becomes red. Can no longer use it. Okay. So here we go. Good luck, Nelson. This is going to probably be more difficult. So E4. All right, he plays e5. Um, how's he gonna bring out his queen if I just play knight f3? That's what I wonder. Let's just let's just see. I just want to see what he's gonna do. Queen f6. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go knight c3. Mm. Yeah, this is gonna be much more difficult. I think. We're gonna go with bishop c4. I'm gonna castle. I'm going to ooh, think carefully here. If I play d4 and he takes me, I can't take it back. That's a bit of a problem. It's actually a big problem. <laughs> Not a, it, Knight to d5. I can't. Oh, so this way I can never take back pieces. Never take back pieces. Even if he takes this knight, I can't take it. What am I doing? This is too difficult. Sort of played against Martin. Okay. That sort of changes everything, doesn't it? That really does. All right. I don't know. Let's go knight b5 because I can't take it. Um, do I want to waste a move taking that? I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm going to play d4 or just gambit, gambit it. Or d. No, let's play d3. Let's play d3. Somehow we got to get to the king quickly without moving too many pieces. This is very difficult. Very, very difficult. Especially when he's playing kind of like solid like this. I might have to go a little crazy with it. I might have to. Maybe not. I don't know. I actually don't know. Let's take it. I don't know. We'll take that and see what happens. All right. He goes over there. Maybe I can jump my knight around, play f4. Can't play c3. Would like to play c3, but I can't. I can bring the bishop to e3. I'll never be able to use that square again. It's probably okay. Yeah, I can't play c3. I can play a3. Ooh, it's, uh, it's not quite a queen trap. It's almost a queen trap. Okay, well, while he's doing that, maybe I should go on the offensive. Let's play knight h4. I'm going to try to go for a checkmating attack here while I still have time. That's my plan. That is my plan. Question is, where do I want to go? Oh, I can't go to f3. Oh, man. This is, this is brutal. All right, I have to go here, h5. Yeah, of course he sees it. Ooh. Ooh, the board is just no it's this is not gonna work this is not going to work well for me i see this ending very badly okay i don't even know what to do i'm gonna just mm. hold on hold on let's think about this if i take it he's gonna take me back doesn't really accomplish anything what if i let's just go let's just go for it we gotta we gotta try something here let's go Okay, we can go check. Doesn't do much. I think I'd rather play f4, try to get my rook in the game. I'm running out of squares and also running out of options. Yeah, I can't take it, which is a bit of a problem. <laughs> Didn't quite think that through. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't see how this is happening, guys. I do not see how it's happening. I could go queen d5 check, but what does it accomplish? I kind of want him to take this so that I could do something with my rook, but he can't take it. 
Man. Okay. Uh, let's bring this over to E1. Yeah, he wants to take it, which, hey, maybe it's fine. Maybe it's my best chance. Maybe I can set a little trap. I think Nelson is going to see that. It might be my best chance, though. It might be my best chance. If I play queen f5, if he takes the bait, there's checkmate. No, I can't go to f7. Oh, I couldn't even do it. Oh, wow. Okay. This is too hard. This is too hard. Okay. I could play d4 to block off that. I could go to f... Now the queen is covering... Man, I don't know. I'm going to play d4 because it's like the only... One of the only moves I can make. And now I can go here. But then what? I mean, what am I going to do after that? I can't even take this. I can't, I could can go here, but why, right? That doesn't do anything. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go here. This is too hard. I should have played Martin. I should have played Martin. It's so close. I can go there and it's so close, but it's not going to be good enough. Because I can't take the knight. I'm running out of squares. Look at this. Look at this. There's no way. Yeah, there's no way. I guess I could push this. That's like the only thing I could do. I could push the pawn. He blundered mate in one and I can't do it. I can't do it. Ah, it's so frustrating. So, I just, I just want to go one more time. Just, just one more time. Wow. Wow. I don't even. I played d5, I guess. Then he takes my pawn and I could push this, but why? Oh. <laughs> it's still there. It is still there. This is amazing. Okay. Well, I can push it and get a queen and take... No, nah, it's still not checkmate. I don't I don't see how this is happening. Oh, if I let him take this, I lose. Because I can't take it back. Game is, would be over. So I have to play rook f2. Okay. What's he doing? I could push this. I mean... Maybe there's a chance, actually, if he... Oh, wait a second. So if I take this and get a queen, that's fine. Okay. What's he going to do? Yeah, he... Oh, I can't take it back. Man. Can't take it back. I can take this one time. And he doesn't know that I can't take it back. So... Question is, how do I get mate? How do I get mate? All right, let's take this way, and maybe we can sneak down. Oh, what's he doing? Hold on, hold on. If I take that, is there a way to win this game? Hmm. Hold everything. And yeah, maybe I'm thinking about this all wrong. Maybe I can try to win it in like an end game. All right, let's take the rook. He's going to take, right, and I'll take the queen. And problem is I don't have a lot of the board to work with. Hmm. All right, let's see. We'll, we'll give it a shot. Let's see. We'll take that with check. He comes up. Okay. How could I mate him here? I would need to come, like, over like this. And then if he goes here... I don't know if that's going to work. Or, let's see. I'm trying to think. No, I've already used these squares. So I can't use a pawn. Okay, that's too bad. Well, um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to run out of board. Well, I'll go to C5 for now. And maybe I'll take this pawn. Yeah, I'll take the pawn. And... <laughs> I could take that. It's defended. He's going to see that. 
don't have a lot of other moves or ways to make progress. Maybe this could be an idea. Swing the rook over. Let's go there. I'm going to run out of board space, though. Let's come down to a six, I guess. With the check. He blocks. I can't take that. Too bad. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. I could go to d7, but what is that? What does that accomplish? Nothing. Doesn't accomplish anything. I can play h3 and g4. That's something. That's something. Okay. G4. Okay. The board is disappearing, friends. I can't take the knight. Oh, I can go here. Maybe he'll maybe he'll go backwards, guys. Maybe he'll he'll do it. Come on, Nelson. Oh, okay, okay, wait a second. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I take this, and if he's like dumb and. Wait a second. Here? This is okay. I'm not gonna be able to take the knight. Dude. I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to take the knight. If I go here, if he blocks with the rook, it's fine. But he's gonna have to go here or here. And I can't, those squares aren't available for me. I can't take it. How can I trick Nelson? Can I like, would he take it? Would he like take my pawn, do you think? It's, it's probably my best shot, right? Yeah, G5. Take it with an oh we can go here and take it that's it yes yes oh my goodness i can't believe that just happened look at the board guys look at the board wow wow okay I'm glad I didn't give up. I was literally like, I'm just gonna quit because this is impossible. And look at that. That was fun. That was really fun. Thank you, Rob. I enjoyed that. Hope you guys did too. And um, yeah, give me give me some more ideas. This is, this is great. See you guys next time. As always, stay sharp, play smart, take care.